Several NHL top prospects have signed entry-level contracts here over the past couple of days, including a couple of big-time players drafted from the 2018 draft. We'll get into all the latest coming up next. Hey everyone and welcome back to another video here at Top Shelf Hockey. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. We review and discuss all 31 NHL teams. So if you're a huge hockey fan, consider subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. So as I mentioned, we had several NHL players sign their entry-level contracts. Some of these guys will have a shot at making the NHL as early as next season. Some of them may end up playing for their minor league affiliates in the American Hockey League. But either way, some of these names are fairly significant players within their organizations. So let's take a look at the recent signings here. Now let's get started with the Edmonton Oilers who have signed prospect forward Ryan McLeod to his entry-level contract. McLeod was drafted last year in the 2018 NHL draft. In the second round, he was projected to likely be a first-round selection, but did slide a little bit further down, and they were able to grab him early into round number two. Now, of course, McLeod's season just recently finished up here in the Ontario Hockey League. Last year, McLeod was pretty much a point-per-game player, putting up 62 points in 63 games. He's six foot three. He's a left shot center riceman. He's got terrific speed and vision. Uh, he had a really solid training camp with the Oilers last year. After the draft, he did go to training camp last year. Looked pretty good. There was even some talk about maybe signing him then and keeping him around, but they ultimately decided to send him back to junior where he had a pretty solid year here. Yet again, continued his development. Now he gets his entry-level contract, and there is a possibility that they could be looking at making a roster spot for him with the Oilers next year, but more than likely he starts in the American Hockey League and has some more time to develop, especially with all the changes in Edmonton here uh, throughout the past season. I think they're really going to be giving their prospects more time to develop in the minors before they thrust them up to the big club here. But Ryan McLeod looks like a terrific prospect for the Oilers, and he is now under contract. The Detroit Red Wings have also signed one of their first round picks from last year's draft. Of course, they had more than one selection, but they selected Joe Valino at number 30. Now, at one point, Valino was a projected top pick in this draft. A few years back, he was even mentioned of being possibly a number one or two pick overall. He was given exceptional status to enter the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League a year early at 15 years old. Started with the St. John Sea Dogs. After the Sea Dogs were going through a bit of a rebuild, he was starting to struggle as well and ended up being traded to Drummondville. After that trade, he really took off and really finished strong last year. Came back to junior one more year here and had an absolutely phenomenal year, putting up over 100 points in the queue this past year. Had an opportunity to play for Team Canada at the World Junior Championships as well and has had a really solid year of development. I really think Valino is going to turn out to be a draft steal for sure for the Red Wings. And he's now under contract, so he'll be fighting for a roster spot with them next year. But again, more than likely, like we saw with Philip Zadina this year, pretty good chance he starts in the American Hockey League to further develop his skills. But yet another great prospect here for Detroit as they go through this rebuild. The Toronto Maple Leafs have signed Jaeger Korshkov to a two-year entry-level contract. The reason for that is being he's 22 years old. Once you hit that age, you're no longer eligible for the three-year entry-level contract. Of course, he's been playing over in the KHL. He was originally drafted by the Leafs back in 2016 and has been playing in the KHL since then. He's a 22-year-old right winger who's put up 26 points in his last 52 games over the past two years in the KHL playing in Russia. So more than likely doesn't make the uh, Maple Leaf roster. I think he more than likely will be a member of the Toronto Marlies next season. The Philadelphia Flyers have signed goalie prospect Kirill Ustamenko, who was a 2017 third round selection. So, of course, getting another young goalie in their system here is huge after seeing Carter Hart take a big step last year and basically become the Flyers' number one goaltender. Uh, obviously, Hart will be the goalie of the future, but of course, they still need other goalies in the system here. And this guy looks like he might have a shot at being pretty solid as well. Originally from Belarus, he signed his three year entry level contract, more than likely get started in the American Hockey League next season. In his last 46 games played, he has a 1.78 goals against average and a 9.22 save percentage. So the stats look pretty good. I haven't seen him play a whole lot, but based on what I've read and what I've seen from the stats here, he does look like a pretty solid prospect for the Flyers. The Kings have signed left shot defenseman Marcus Phillips, who was originally drafted in the fourth round back in 2017. Phillips is having a pretty solid year, helping the Guelph Storm go to the OHL Championship. They are doing battle here against the Ottawa 67, so his season has not yet come to an end. So obviously they're going to be trying to win the OHL Championship and go on to play here in the Memorial Cup representing the OHL. This past year, he's played in 62 games and put up 26 points and looks like a pretty solid defensive prospect here for the LA Kings. The San Jose Sharks have signed their 2017 second round selection, Mario Ferrero, to his three-year entry-level contract. He has been playing at UMass Amherst, so he was a team mate of Colorado Avalanche defenseman Kale McCarr. Of course, McCarr is now having a lot of success in the NHL. Of course, uh, UMass Amherst 
did make it all the way to the championship game, but unfortunately came up short and settled for second place. The left shot defenseman has played in 80 games over the past two years, putting up 37 points. So that gets you caught up on all the entry-level contracts we have signed here in the past 24 to 48 hours. We likely will see a fair bit more of this between now and the next few weeks here as teams approach their offseason. Before they get into free agency or anything else, they're going to likely want to take care of any prospects in their system that need to be signed here so they know how many contracts they have in their books and how they can plan ahead here for next year. If you're new to the channel, I hope you consider subscribing. We cover all 31 NHL teams, and there's plenty of content here for all hockey fans to enjoy. So if you're new, subscribe for more videos just like this one, and hit the like button if you enjoyed it as well. I'd appreciate it if you did. As always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you next time.